Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about finding sides of right triangles using trig ratios. Here are the two problems that we'll do, and to make sure we don't take ourselves too seriously, let's think about the fun question. What is your favorite school subject, and how has that changed over time? Okay, so math section. Well, I was just going to circle trig ratios. Uh, but technically this is trig ratios within right triangles as opposed to like oblique triangles. Um, we will most likely see in the few problems that, that cover trig, you'll, it's very possible that you will see a problem just like this, uh, where you're trying to solve for a side or maybe even just setting up the, uh, the equation for this problem. So before we do this, we must know so ka toa. And that tells us that the SOH stands for sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So what does all of that mean? Well, uh, first of all, we need a calculator, and we're looking for the sine, cosine, and tangent buttons on the calculator. And from the angle that you are given in the triangle, you must label the O, the A, and the H. So the O will always be across the triangle from the given angle. The hypotenuse is always across from the 90 degree angle because that means it's the longest side if it's across from the longest or the largest uh, angle. Okay, so we need to figure out then which of these three setups are we going to use here? We don't even care about that adjacent side because uh, it's just unnecessary to use here. Uh, we're trying to solve for the O, but given the H. So that tells me that I'm going to use sine. And then it's always of the angle. So it's like sine theta, you know, or the angle, uh, so which is 49 here. And then O over H, X over 16. Then we're going to figure out what are we going to do on both sides. Like I could multiply... 16 on both sides to get x by itself and remember that my answers here when i click that sign button um on the calculator it's going to be sign of something so sign 49 times 16 i'm getting 12.1 now you could also do this problem this was division here i wanted to get rid of the division by multiplying so that these 16s would cancel out, right? Because we just want x by itself. Um, but what I also could have done is cross multiplied. I could just call that sine 49 over 1 equals x over 16, and then cross multiplied like I would have done a problem in uh, uh, like pre-algebra. So keep that in mind that there are two techniques, uh, whichever technique you want to use is great. Now let's compare that to number two. In number two, we are given an angle up top similar to that B in the other one. Uh, it, notice that it could also be down here. You know, it, it, the ang given angle is not always up top. But I like this number two because a lot of students think of this as uh, like a harder example. Um, and here's why. You would get 56 uh, you know, as as our angle for our setup, but you have to decide, of course, which one you need. The O is the two. We don't have the H, and we do have an A here. And so I can tell that cosine would involve A and H. I don't need that. It's not sine because we have the O and the H, uh, you know, going on here, but not here. So I'm going to be using tangent. Tangent of the angle 56 equals 
2 over x. Okay, o over a. Now to get rid of uh, everything except the x here, uh, what we need to do is maybe multiply it on both sides. Uh, those x's will cancel. And then, see, what's hard is then you just have the tangent 56 over there. How are you going to solve for x? Well, this one people think of as the harder one because you have another step. So it's x is, you know, not equals. It's approximately 2 divided by, and I'm using my calculator, and I'm using it in degree mode. So x is approximately 1.3. Note that you will get the answers wrong unless you are in degrees for problems like this. So you push mode and then go down to either radians or degrees and put it in degrees. So for this type of problem, um, you can also use that cross multiplication. I could have done that tangent 56 over 1 equals 2 over x. I totally understand why people teach it this way because then you just go 2 equals x times tangent 56. You don't really have to monkey around with this x, like moving it over and then moving, trying to figure out how to get rid of it again. So keep in mind that cross multiplication is entirely useful for this if you like that method. Okay, so on to some practice problems. These are the same for the most part as the others. Uh, just notice that the angles are down here. So everything is going to be labeled uh, with respect to those angles on the bottoms. Um, also, that first triangle there is flipped. So if you'd like to try these, um, why don't you pause the video now before I reveal the answers? Okay, answers uh, rounded to the nearest tenth are 2.6 and then 13.0. Sleeve off with a little motivation. This quote is from somebody who I know, and he said it yesterday to me, and I thought, you know what? That is so true. We were talking about sleeping, and he said, there is not much that is worse than being sleep deprived. And I think far too many students uh, operate on very little sleep these days, especially just with technology. And a, a lot of us are just so busy, but we really need to make sure that we clear ourselves of our distractions. We focus on what we need to focus on um, and, and get those hours of sleep. So I think that will improve your, your mental health, your just overall well-being if you get that recommended uh, number of, of hours of sleep. And so I hope this, this video uh, benefited you in some way. And if you think of your answer to the, the fun question from before, I'd love to see it in the comments. And if you would like to keep up with more videos, please feel free to subscribe. Hope you have a good day.